Welcome, dear someone. Today we are dealing with the topics of morality and ethics. Morality is when you ask yourself if a decision is right or wrong. Morality can be shared by society and organizations, for example in schools, at jobs, in political institutions, in family, and also in companies, etc. Ethics is the science of morals. In ethics, justifications for moral convictions are searched or questioned. Whether a moral conviction can be justified in a generally valid way. How does morality even get into people? Who installs it and who executes backups? Small children cannot yet distinguish between good and evil. Surely there are some innate alarm systems. Everything must be learned and updated gradually. Parents play the biggest role at first, because they have to teach them norms. Routine solidifies the child. This is elementary because deviations confuse and frighten children and can even lead to fears of loss. The older a person becomes, the more important it is to explain the meaning of these norms in a comprehensible way so that they can understand. Because children learn continuously so they also imitate other people, try new things, etc. And by doing so, they of course observe what success and failure or punishment brings with it. For example... Oh yum, I want that candy, but I know mom won't give it to me. Mm, probably when I make some loud noises here at the supermarket, mom gives in because she wants me to be quiet. A little advice, from the very beginning, enter into a binding negotiation with your child, which both have to adhere to and recall this in your conscience before every purchase. An agreement for sweets, for example, could then be, you may choose one thing by yourself, and you will certainly get it, but if you like something else better, you have to choose one. That is my promise, but in order for me to keep my promise, there is a very simple condition that you have to keep so that I can rely on you. You also have to promise me that you will not scream, whine or beg in the store. If you do it anyway, you will get nothing, so it is your decision. Of course. You need time until the little creature has really understood and internalized this promise. That is why routine and repetition is extremely important. As soon as the, as the children see that parents keep their promises, they become aware of their own promise. According to the motto, Oops, there was something I shouldn't back. Otherwise, I won't get my jellies. And by doing so, they learn that they do not have to make a fuss to get anything. And at some point you can even animate children to help with the shopping list and keep them busy. Now you will probably think that the little ones cannot read a shopping list after all. And that's right at first, but until they learn, you can make them draw their own shopping list while you write your own, so that the kids are actively engaged in shopping even before going to the store and subconsciously recall their own promises. 
After all, they are allowed to draw their own wish on the list. Or they read it to you and playfully give instructions where to find the food. With such little things, the sense of responsibility and the ability to concentrate is also promoted. And shopping is fun again. Concentration and occupation finally lead to the fact that they have no more time to think about begging. <laughs>